Bay Area scientists are studying data from the Taiwan quake. They're looking for clues as to how a similar seismic event would play out here. Our Brian Hackney has a story. Look at this. This earthquake isn't in isolation. We have a 7 and a 7.5, a 7.1, a 7.2. It has about 10 times the magnitude 7 earthquakes we've had in the last century. So it has been hammered repeatedly by large earthquakes. So this area is active. This area is super active. This area will not let us forget it. That's because so much of Taiwan's seismic landscape reminds us of our own, starting with their longitudinal valley fault. When I saw where this earthquake was on the longitudinal valley fault, I thought, okay, this is like being at home. This is like being on Tamales Bay where I kayaked last weekend. This beautiful trough groove in the landscape that's formed by faults. And we were once almost as seismically active as Taiwan. Look at this graph. We had magnitude sixes and sevens ricocheting all over the bay. So the Bay Area was much more active. The 1906 quake appears to have shut down all of that activity. Not so many big quakes since 1906. And that's both good and bad. They've had 13 magnitude 7 and larger quakes in 100 years. But the frequency of these earthquakes means that the population is on board with preparation for earthquakes. When you get hit every four or five years, you get ready. And here? We have deluded ourselves into thinking that we don't really have a problem. We've turned our attention, understandably, to fire and flood. And fire and flood are new on the horizon, but earthquakes never went away. And while Taiwan's major population is well away from today's epicenter, we have managed to pour all of our population on the faults. We've just salted the faults with people and buildings. So this is a much bigger trial for us than it ever will be for them.